The Cold War was a period of political tension and military rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union, lasting from the end of World War IE in 1945 until the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. It was called the Cold War because there was no direct military conflict between the two superpowers, but rather a constant state of political and economic competition. The origins of the Cold War can be traced back to the end of World War IE, when the United States and the Soviet Union emerged as the two dominant superpowers in the world. The United States was a capitalist democracy, while the Soviet Union was a communist dictatorship. The two countries had very different political and economic systems, and their leaders had very different visions for the future of the world. The first major crisis of the Cold War came in 1948, when the Soviet Union blockaded the city of Berlin, which was located deep inside the Soviet-controlled zone of Germany. The United States responded by airlifting supplies into the city, and the blockade was eventually lifted. This crisis demonstrated the determination of both sides to defend their interests and set the stage for future confrontation. The next major crisis came in 1950, when North Korea, with the backing of the Soviet Union, invaded South Korea. The United States intervened to defend South Korea, and the conflict ended in a stalemate that lasted until 1953. This conflict, known as the Korean War, was the first direct military confrontation between the United States and the Soviet Union. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, the Cold War continued to escalate, with both sides building up their military forces and engaging in a constant state of espionage and propaganda. The United States and the Soviet Union engaged in a nuclear arms race, with each side developing more and more powerful weapons. In 1962, the world came close to nuclear war during the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Soviet Union had installed nuclear missiles in Cuba, just 90 miles from the United States. President John F. Kennedy demanded that the missiles be removed, and the Soviet Union eventually agreed. This crisis was a turning point in the Cold War, as both sides realized the dangers of nuclear war and began to seek ways to reduce tensions. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, the Cold War continued to simmer, with occasional flare-ups such as the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in 1979. However, both sides also began to engage in a process of detents, seeking to reduce tensions and find areas of common ground. The Cold War finally came to an end in 1991, with the collapse of the Soviet Union. The United States emerged as the sole superpower in the world, and the era of bipolarity that had defined the post-World War, i.e. world, came to an end. As the Cold War progressed, both the United States and the Soviet Union engaged in a series of proxy wars where they supported opposing sides in conflicts around the world. One of the most significant proxy wars was the Vietnam War, which lasted from 1955 to 1975. The United States supported South Vietnam in its fight against Communist North Vietnam, which was backed by the Soviet Union and China. The war ended in a victory for North Vietnam, but it left a deep scar on American society and further fueled anti-war sentiment. Another major proxy war was the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in 1979. The Soviet Union intervened to support the communist government in Afghanistan, which was facing a rebellion by Islamic insurgents known as the Mujahideen. The United States along with other Western countries, provided support to the Mujahideen, including weapons and training. This conflict lasted for nearly a decade and ended in a Soviet withdrawal, but it also laid the groundwork for the rise of extremist groups such as al-Qaeda. In addition to proxy wars, the Cold War also played out in the realm of space exploration. The United States and the Soviet Union engaged in a fierce competition to achieve milestones in space. In 1957, the Soviet Union launched the first artificial satellite, Sputnik, into orbit, shocking the world and igniting the space race. The United States responded by establishing NASA and launching its own satellite, Explorer 1, in 1958. The space race reached its climax in 1969, 
when the United States successfully landed astronauts on the moon during the Apollo 11 mission. The Cold War also had a profound impact on culture and society. In the United States, the fear of communism led to a period of intense anti-communist sentiment known as the Red Scare. Many Americans were accused of being communist sympathizers and faced persecution and blacklisting. This era was marked by the investigations of Senator Joseph McCarthy, who led a witch hunt against alleged communists in government, entertainment, and academia. In the Soviet Union, the Cold War was characterized by a strict censorship of information and a suppression of dissent. The government tightly controlled the media and propaganda was used to promote the Soviet ideology and portray the United States as an enemy. The Soviet people lived under a constant state of surveillance and fear, with any form of dissent being harshly punished. Despite the tensions and conflicts of the Cold War, there were also moments of cooperation and dialogue between the United States and the Soviet Union. One such example was the signing of the Strategic Arms Limitation Treaty, SALT, in 1972, which aimed to limit the number of nuclear weapons possessed by both sides. This treaty was a significant step towards reducing the risk of nuclear war and promoting stability. In conclusion, the Cold War was a complex and multifaceted period in history, characterized by political tension, military rivalry, and ideological conflict between the United States and the Soviet Union. It had far-reaching consequences for global politics, society, and culture. While the Cold War is now in the past, its legacy continues to shape the world we live in today.